Fourth of July holiday weekend literally just <laughs> around the corner. And if you want a dish that's going to wow your crew, don't worry. Our next guest has you completely covered. He's been holding his own as a judge on this season of Top Chef after first competing and making a name for himself as a contestant back in season 13 of the show. The celeb chef is joining us now. We are so excited. First of all, I can just tell you, I'm smelling the ribs here. Chef Kwame Anwachi, <laughs> thank you so much for being with us. How you doing? It's great to be here. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. It's a beautiful day in Los Angeles. You know, got the ribs growing. You can smell the smoke. I'm doing really, really well. How are you doing? I'm good. Well, I'm better because these ribs are right in front of me. You're making some mouth-watering <laughs> baby back ribs. There's a special secret ingredient in here too, I hear, that people are very excited about. Yes, some Remy Martin cognac uh, is the secret ingredient. It gives it a nice caramel, nice caramel notes, you know, like nice stone fruits, dried fruits. Um, it adds a lot of complexity to the barbecue sauce. And the barbecue sauce is the boss in this recipe. Okay, let's talk about this barbecue sauce. Walk us through what it is. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna make I'm gonna add some onions, and you always want some aromatics in your barbecue sauce, right? So I have some onions and some garlic, and then the key is to add the cognac pretty much in the beginning, and you're gonna let that alcohol cook off Ooh. like that, right? You're gonna flambe it. After that alcohol cooks off, you know, the fire will subside, you're gonna add some ketchup, some brown sugar, some liquid smoke, which is gonna give it a nice smoky flavor, and some Worcestershire. And what you wanna do is you wanna kinda let this cook for about 30 minutes to an hour, depending on how much sauce you're making, and that's gonna cook down, it's gonna get nice and thick and syrupy. So the ribs, actually, the ribs I cooked the day before. Now I season it with a bunch of Creole spice, some salt, and then I wrap it in, uh, in foil and cook it in the oven low and slow for about three to four hours at 300 degrees. So if you don't have a grill pan or a grill, you can just cook it right in the pan. You have a grill at home? I have two grills. We got the charcoal and the gas, because okay. my husband likes to have both options. So you, <laughs> so you can make a lot of ribs then. You can make a lot of ribs. So you can sear it right in the pan um, and then you can sear it on both sides so it gets nice and crispy. Luckily, I also have a grill, so I have grilled my ribs prior to this. And you wanna grill it before, you wanna uh, brush it with this sauce before it hits the grill. And that way it gets nice and charred, you know, all those, all those like sugary bits turn to caramel, it gets nice and sticky. And then you're gonna finish it with some barbecue sauce and then serve it alongside as well. We and have that's a, it. It's we have a lemon simple recipe. and a, a red hot pepper on our plate. Are, are those just for decoration? Is that part of the plating, or do you actually use those? Hey, if if you're feeling like you know, you're feeling a little spicy, you can bite into that pepper. <laughs> you know, the lemon <laughs> is is good to squeeze on top. But I'm not going to tell you what to do. You're your own person. Okay, okay. I, I will tell you, I will not be biting into that pepper. I don't have the stomach for that. <laughs> but it looks delicious. Not this early, right? Not this early. Not ever. Not ever. <laughs> <laughs> Chef Kwame Onwachi, thank you so much for being with us. The season 18 Top Chef finale airs this Thursday You're on Bravo. Well. It looks delicious. It really, um, this is tempting to me, even though I'm plant-based now. <laughs> we'll just like keep it closer I know. to you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.